All right, to start with, don't pay no attention to the table. There's a lot going on there. But if you watch the video where I put the uh, 5,000 pound winch on the uh, side by side, well, this is the 4,500 pound Can-Am winch. I just mounted onto a uh, two inch receiver mount and put a set of leads up here that you can just put uh, jumper cables on. Pretty much all you need is the winch, the hitch mount, and then I made this bracket. And I got this, what are they called? I guess fire lead for the uh, rope. And then put the uh, controller switch here on the front. And then you gotta have the uh, relay block. And then just ward it all up. I did put this, this was a cable winch. Uh, put the rope on it. This was a 50 foot rope. I ended up having to cut probably 10 foot off of it so it fit. That way it wouldn't get, it was starting to get tight on these bars up here with the extra 10 foot on it. So I cut 50 foot off of it and put it in there. But anyway, it ain't that hard to make. I clocked this. I don't know if you know, but on most of your winches, I won't say all your winches because there'll be that one out there somebody will try to clock. And it won't. And they'll be like, oh, you lied. But anyway, most of them, you've got two bolts here. And there's a mountain hose so that you can make these terminals. Normally they come straight across or you can put them at an angle like I got them or you can clock them straight up and down. I just put them on an angle because it's tight here anyway. I figured that way you wouldn't have this terminal hitting against your hand. But there it is. The main reason I made it to where you could do the jumper cables. That way pretty much anybody in your group can use it. Anybody, all you got to have is a set of jumper cables and a uh, controller. And you can hook it into any two inch uh, receiver. That, if you got a big D ring, you could even put a D ring in it and strap it off to a tree and let it pull that way. Just as long as you got something parked close enough to you to use the battery. That, you can use it on your trailers. Pretty much anything that you can get a set of jumper cables to and have a way to hook it onto something. But that's it. Hope you like it.